Good events! I mean, welcome to drawing, etc. while reading Pratchett, or DERP for short, where each month I will reread a Discworld book in the published order and then do some type of art related project based off it. For January 2023, I read The Color of Magic, and the scene I chose to illustrate, starting pretty basic here with digital illustration, is the bit where Tethys, the water troll, brings Rincewind and Two Flower to his dwelling. He just got up from his rocking chair and is pouring some vile green wine for his guests, who are cautiously observing the scene from somewhere off screen where you don't really get to see them. For my first episode, I chickened out a little bit and decided to draw something I've not seen illustrated before. I don't feel quite ready to tackle something I've seen Paul Kidby do just yet. As far as the book goes, on my second reread, I noticed a whole bunch of things I kind of took for granted the first time around, 20 or so years ago. Having the Elspace org page up also opened my eyes to the many, many literary references I've mostly never heard about. I think that the two most notable things for me were the much meaner death and the amount of scantily clad women. Okay, and I get it, right? A parody on the fantasy genre, full bikinis and all. And there are quite a lot of mostly naked men as well. Fair is fair. But thinking back on it, I don't think there is one fully dressed woman in there with any spoken lines. And I think death, quite out of character, from the following books, smites a bunch of critters out of frustration when Rincewin refuses to die yet again at some point. That bit was quite jarring. I think the first few projects are all going to be digital drawings. I'm trying to get back into drawing more regularly. I don't usually color or paint stuff, so approaching this whole thing with much, much caution. A while back, I was lucky enough to participate in Dennis Zilber's storytelling course where it was all about illustration and what makes good illustration and how to tell a good story with a picture. So I'm going to try and include things I learned there into these here illustrations as much as possible. While I'm not being really at all adventurous with the perspective or camera angles, I did make an attempt at some type of lighting, something I normally skip altogether, so yay me. I showed the finished piece to my art teacher, who made a, quite a few suggestions on how to make the whole thing better, and I managed to implement some of them. Seeing how I'm already way overdue to publish this video, I had to tell myself that I must just call it done at some point, and talk myself out of redrawing the entire thing completely from scratch, as I tend to do with most of my projects. There is a saying about the first pancake always being lumpy, I guess because the frying pan isn't hot enough yet? Well, this here is my lumpy pancake. Hopefully the next one will be better. How do you guys prefer your pancakes? Next up is the Light Fantastic book, due at the end of February or whenever my next monthly art lesson is. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Can you hear my cat in the background? I'd love your thoughts on the video, pancake recipes and general feedback on the format. Should I talk more about my thought and art process? Maybe more discussion on the book itself? Let me know. I'll be Ovsky then. Bye!